Since the development of the handheld firearm in the 14th century, there's been a need to safely and conveniently carry a supply of gunpowder. One early method was the bandolier, a leather strap from which hung wooden bottles which contained a measured charge for the musket. An awkward affair that was known to catch fire and explode. The classic powder horn had the advantage of being lightweight and waterproof, but if you forgot to replace the plug, an errant spark could easily find its way to your powder supply. Captain Cook wore a glove on one hand, not as a fashion statement, but to hide his mangled hand from a powder horn explosion. The powder flask had the advantage of automatically closing off the powder supply from the measure. No plug to lose or if it get to replace, and flask bodies were commonly made out of non-ferrous metal or horn to prevent sparks. Powder flasks could be had in an array of fixed or adjustable chargers. Here's another really nicely made French powder flask. It's got a, a nicely uh, carved horn body. Uh, nice, one of the nice things about a horn body, besides being uh, spark proof, is you can hold it up to the light and see uh, the volume of your uh, powder inside. It's got nice German silver fittings and it's got an interesting measure on the top. All you have to do is Turn this dial on the top to adjust your powder charge. Turn it upside down. Open this valve and fill the, the powder measure. Close the valve. When you open this up, you've got a kind of semi detached uh, powder measure to drop this into your muzzle of your gun, which gives you a little bit of a distance between that and your main powder flask. This is another nice French flask. It features a pigskin covered metal body and a unique charger with a sight glass and a wheel that allows you to adjust your powder charge. Operate this flask, just invert it and fill the sight glass, and then rotate the head to dispense the powder. low light shot, you can plainly see the danger of a wayward spark creating an explosive situation.
This buffalo horn has a Sykes patented flame proof head. It will hold one pound of black powder. You never want to pour black powder directly into the muzzle of your gun. Always use a separate measure. Muzzle loading revolvers aren't really loaded from the muzzle, but from the front of the cylinder. Although much less likely to harbor a spark, it's still safer to load with a separate measure than directly from the flask. In the 1960s and 70s, there was a resurgence of interest in muzzleloading due in part to the centennial of the American Civil War and popular TV shows like Davy Crockett and movies like Jeremiah Johnson. Foreign companies took advantage of this trend and manufactured a profusion of muzzleloading arms and accessories. Many of the powder flasks you see on the market today were manufactured in the 20th century. Many with convincing manufacturers names like Sykes, Hawksley, and Colt. require more information on powder flasks, I would highly recommend Ray Rylings' The Powder Flask Book. Nice shot.